Welcome to Pixel Junk Radio, episode 12. I'm your host, Ariel Angelotti, and with me are Jamin Kessler. Grand High Exalted, Never Faulted, Jamin Kessler of the SPUs. <laughs> Duncan Flat. Yes. <laughs> and Jake Campbell, we have a new guest on today. Jake Campbell. The official uh, new Baka Gaijin of Nihon. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, look at him dropping so, the Japanese. Yeah, look at that. And so, studying. So, can you explain who you are, why you're here at Q? Uh, I am your average college kid, uh, fraternity not included, mm. thank God. Um, <laughs> and I'm here on an internship Yeah. and uh, doing some planning. I don't really know what I can say about the game, though. Side scroller, yeah. Well, I saw what you were working on today. You were working on some... I might have to bleed this out. No, no, you okay. can say some acidic, acidic, acidic moments. Okay, some acidic, acidic moments and some... Some cellular cellular activity, I guess. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Biology. Bring in the biology. Science. Here. Yeah. And and I didn't want to bring this up, but I really want to ask this: Who is your daddy, and what does he do? <laughs> uh, some of you actually may know my father is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It, it is. He is, he is the uh, governor of California. Yeah. <laughs> um, There's a lot of that going around, by yeah. right? He's not a woman. Well, and, he, and he's got a lot of kids, apparently. Oh, apparently. Yeah. 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 I'm one of, well, I just found out about <laughs> last week. So, I don't know, pretty cool. I'm in the will, officially. <laughs> which is great. That's, good. that's a good gig. Right? Well, that's nice. You can, like, inherit... The loincloth from like Conan the Librarian or something. Oh no no no! I There's think you're like thinking uh, Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way. Nice. That this one. Is the best yeah. movie. I I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> Jingle All the Way, which reminds me of Conan, because Conan Conan O'Brien, because it's Conan. The what did I say? You said Conan. I think like so, Detective like, Conan. Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Detective. <laughs> But Conan O'Brien used to have a segment on his show. I'm not sure if he still does, but they bring in like the celebrity face and they have a cutout for like the mouth. But the lips were always upside show. down or something. Or it was something yeah. like that. Yeah. And they would always have they would always have Arnold Schwarzenegger on, <laughs> and and he would always be promoting his his most fantastic movie, Jingle All the Way. <laughs> that was so it's classic. Cool. classic. It's classic. Jingle All the Way. Okay, thank you, thank you, Jake. So, just to give a brief rundown of what to expect on this episode, we will launch right into another edition of Duncan Disorderly. Because Dylan's crippled. Yeah, oh yeah, by the way, we haven't talked oh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. this. There's an elephant in the room Shit. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dylan's not here today. Yeah, there's been a coup d'etat. Yes. <laughs> We've all ris risen up and, yeah. and, and taken the company reins. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Yeah. yeah, he's a little under the weather, so he'll be sitting this episode out, but we, we miss him. We hope he, he gets better and expect him next time. He'll be, he'll be next better time, by right? he'll, be, he'll be here oh, next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll definitely be here next yeah, time. So, yeah. so look forward to that. Yeah, it'll be great. So, yeah, Duncan Disorderly. Then I'm going to go into um, the Pixel Chunk Shooter 2 code giveaway results. We have a winner for the code. We do. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. A very special winner. Mm -hmm. And I have a super special announcement at the end of the episode. Oh it's super God. special, oh but you have to wait until the end of the episode. All right. It better be good, right? Prepare yourself. Can you give us a hint? Slightest hint. Give us a hint. Just drop a hint. Slightest hint. Drop a hint. It might involve Gary Coleman. <gasps> Dead. Oh. What you talking about, Ariel? No. Sorry. <laughs> is he not dead? No, he is. He is dead. He's dead. Ah, he no, he he's died dead. exactly 15 minutes away from my house. Can I? Can I tell In you Utah. something? Utah. I'm he's, from Utah, by the way. I, I, you I measured that. You pasted it out. He lives. He lives. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> saw his body and you walked home. 15 looking at your point. Watch. Eh, about about fifteen minutes, forty five seconds, roughly. What did he die? Yeah, in, in a right. hospital? Was uh, he street? fell off a ladder, which is <gasps> really? adorable. It was in, in a circus or something. Adorable? Oh. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> well, I mean, he's. It was sad because mm. I was a big fan of that his works. That's very sad. It doesn't involve Gary Coleman. That was a tease. It doesn't. It okay. Is oh. in no way connected to Gary Coleman. All right. <laughs> Not just special, but it says super special. Is this so that, super that, special? That's, yeah. that's like one rank above special. No, yeah. I guess. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. All right. That works out. Okay. Um. So, Duncan Disorderly. All right. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's, let's go. How are you yeah. feeling, man? I've got to ask you because I haven't seen you since. You, well, you ate something um, last week. <laughs> they have this food in Japan called... Chinja or Chanja. Ching, yeah, I think it might be Korean. It's yeah, well, it's yeah. Korean, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. uh, pickled codfish viscera. 
Viscera in a laser word, you know. Yeah, you it's know, uh. You know what that word means? It that is. Would that be guts? Was wrong word for viscera or just? It, it was yeah. chewy. Yeah. It was chewy. Yeah. Uh, it, viscera, I believe, yeah, guts. guts. It was chewy, red. Uh, right. The it, nasty parts of it. It just tasted horrible eat. and. Uh-huh. Oh, it, it put me on my ass for about two days. Yeah. Did not agree with you. Uh. No, not at all. No, no, no. How much weight did you lose? Do you know? Oh, what actually, that's the, that's the best part. I <laughs> I think I can see about four ribs right now. Oh, what? Oh, uh, so that's go. good. I can see I can see some ribs. Look in the that. mirror. Jamin's okay. thinking about, man, I need to eat some of this. I got my health, no, I got my health bad. check coming up in like this two days. Bad. I got to eat some of this like right now. No, there you go. You got to lick his bin. It's bad for your body. Yo-yo dieting is bad. I think I might have some on my bathroom floor. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's there you go. Nasty. Dysentery. <laughs> that's what you need to lose. Yes. It's American Korean food now. Oh, oh God. Oh. Been through the ringer. <laughs> but you're better now. Oh, yeah. You're better We're good. now. And then first meal I had after recovery was uh, two Big Macs from Japan. They're good, right? They are so Japan much better it's than Americans. Yeah, 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 it is. Big Macs. And they're bigger, too. They're bigger, too. They're bigger mm. here? They're bigger. That surprises me. Yeah, yeah and I'm shocking. a... I am a... Uh, you lost in your that, that's true, so. yeah. My hands shrink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't believe that they're bigger here. Great. Well, so, how long have you been in Japan now? Like a month? Uh, five weeks, yeah. officially. I'll be... I'll, I've been here six weeks on Thursday. Oh, that's exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't want to leave. Oh. Yeah, I know it's great, but it's you've been learning lesson. a lot of the yeah, language. Yeah, I don't and... speak English after after work, and then learning some Kansai Ben, which is the mm-hmm. local dialect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, learning a handful of words I still don't know the meaning to. And you've been having some misadventures as well. Yeah, I've had had a few. I would call them misadventures, but I'd call them <laughs> definitely adventures. You are the Forrest Gump of Japan. You keep <laughs> falling into these situations it like by complete <laughs> well, I, accident. I, my thing is just always Prime say yes. Of months, <laughs> That's the way that goes. If, if Japanese people say something to me, I'll just always bow and hi hi. Right. And that's got me into some some unique situations. Keep saying yes. Yeah, to yeah, everything. like yeah. like. Uh, freestyled rap about two weeks ago at a mm-hmm. at a club uh, against <laughs> a few Japanese fellows, mm-hmm. which I did really good because they don't know English, so I could just rhyme whatever I want. <laughs> I got my hat. It's on my cat. Oh my god! Look at that's a rat. It's like, and they're just cheering. <laughs> oh man! And, but any any yeah, yeah, any I, two year old could loop those words together. I, I sense a future battle with you. Oh. <laughs> Oh God! Should we should we do it on this episode? Not on this episode, but this if episode. you ever if you want to come come us. get me next time you get okay. you okay. loop into yeah. one of these things and I'll I'll get up on stage and I'll uh, make maybe a bigger ass of myself than you. Okay. <laughs> That's well, the goal. I don't know. I didn't. I was the least of an ass of all the people. There was a pretty drunk dude took off his shirt. That was pretty entertaining, actually. It's hard to lose to a guy like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a that's a shoe in right there that you're not gonna be last. <laughs> I've I've also heard there have been some some girls. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Yes. Before you mentioned, there's no one at home that's listening to this that thinks they, they're your girlfriend, right? This yeah. No, this is uh, officially yeah. I'm and, single. Yeah, oh, and, cool. and there was there was nothing uh, okay. like there right. was well, there was something untoward going on. I I figured out like the, it's like giving candy to a or. What, what Choose was, uh, your words carefully. <laughs> yeah, I, I should. It's should there's fishing about. There's a yeah. There's a unique little pickup line I have that getting it, candy out from the back of a van. It, oh, well, it, it. it stranger thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't talk to strangers, but that's what I do every night. Yeah. So mm. there's a place called Kamogawa River around here, oh. and that is a great place to pick up girls. And I have a little story that. Well, this is a true story actually. So. They have this thing in Japan called Nikuman, and it's it's basically a Japanese hot pocket, yeah, equal, it's, it's, equally it's as dangerous. Yeah, yeah. In, equally as dangerous. So I decided I'll go pick up pack a Nikuman and uh, take it home, cook it because Nikuman is is delicious, just like hot pockets. <laughs> and what are hot pockets? Nikuman <laughs> for times when you're hungry. <laughs> hot it, pocket is is a. Would you buy that in a like Chinese a supermarket? A pastry or a, covered. Picture this. It's thing. like a bread it's like, it's full like a, of cheap meat. It's like or, a pocket uh, or filled with like some shit that normally would be in a really bad pizza. Yeah. Like you microwave it or yeah. put it yeah. in a Yeah, only the crust is like surrounding it. Yeah. You, only, and, you eat this when you're drunk. Uh, I eat it for breakfast. Because right. right. <laughs> right. I'm not the richest. But, but, 
Uh, and you put it in this weird little, this super fancy little wrap thing. Okay. But anyway, so I, I took the Nikamon home, and I, I do not know how to use my Japanese microwave. Right. So I, I threw it in for 10 minutes. I thought it was only a minute. 10 minutes. So ten, yeah, ten minutes, because it has a wattage, but not minute time. Mm. Right. So okay, I, I figure out oh, this is about a minute. Right. And it was not. So I, I sit down, start, you know, checking the internet and everything, checking email, and just kind of forget that I put that in. And I smell the smoke coming out, <laughs> and I, I look back, and this, it, the microwave was is is still alive, thank right, God. Right. Right. But uh, there's. Very easily could have turned bad right. pretty quick. So I open it up, and there's, you know, Nikamon Fireball. Right. And that's what I say to Japanese people. It translates very well. Nikamon Fireball. That's a universal word. You, you can yell it as you say, yeah. Nikamon, Nikamon Fireball. Yeah, <laughs> and so I, I picked it up and threw it outside like Ichiro. And all Japanese know Ichiro. Yeah. He's, the, he's the hero. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, and, or... Kame Kame Nikuman! <laughs> and again, all Japanese know mm. Kame Hameha. Or uh, Nikuman Duken is the sh- for Street Fighter fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, dude. Uh, <laughs> so I just. Works on chance. And this works. So I say this, I say this, <laughs> and then they're laughing. Like, oh, you're, you're, married. you're <laughs> such an yeah, idiot. You're such an idiot. I'm going to try this on my wife. And then the best, yeah, the best thing is you say, do you want to see my microwave? It's a good excuse to come visit my yeah, little. Yeah, we know. After you've got home in a couple of months, we're not going to find a lot of dead chicks under your bed. No, they're next to the Nikuman. They're in the Nikuman. They're in the Nikuman. Oh, that's what happened to those chicks. Yeah. Just, see, when, when, but when you tell the story, it's normally like you have this like weird innocence. You're like, I don't get it. These girls keep coming back to my apartment. I don't understand why. I don't know how to get rid of them. They just keep okay, coming. Okay, no, to that's my another apartment. problem I've encountered though. The fact that you, l- they want, they stay. I had a girl stay for five days, and I keep telling. I've had that's a bit, but they keep doing his laundry, and they, they keep, keep doing my his laundry. laundry. <laughs> And they clean the house, so that is nice. Oh. And one one girl figured out how to get rid of the burning Nikumon smell. Oh, there you go. I don't know. I always say my age is twenty three. That's the lucky age here. Uh-huh. I figured. Yeah, it's, it's he's he's right before yeah. Christmas cake. Right before. And that's that's when you turn five. I have five. Heard, Yep. Yeah. yeah, I have to explain that reference for the audience. So mm. they say like if you become a Christmas cake, which is traditionally held um, held, it's had at Christmas time in Japan, where you have a cake. On Christmas Day, mm. and that means that if you not become turkey, twenty-five, not a ham, right? You have a cake. You have a cake mm. yeah, in yeah. Japan, mm. and and fried chicken. Ryan fried chicken. <laughs> KFC. Kentucky. 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 KFC. Christmas is like Kentucky. Huge. KFC. <laughs> it's called KFC. Yeah, KFC is called Kentucky in Japan as well. If you get to the Christmas cake age, mm. for a woman, it's considered bad. Twenty-six, mm. I suppose. Right? Isn't it? Twenty-six is bad, isn't it? Well, it, yeah, I guess if you get beyond that. Because your Christmas cake starts to go bad. Yeah, Getting yeah. expired. But, but yeah. anymore nowadays, they're calling it like a New Year's cake. So it's like... The, it's like once you get beyond that, then it's bad. Because oh, it's getting pushed kind of back a little yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is still yeah. very young to get married. No, I was going to say 25 really is better because 31 is like really old. <laughs> so they sh- probably shouldn't have pushed it back. Should you just like yeah. shut up? <laughs> Whoa. That's staying in. But okay. I, I've, I've had five potential wives that just didn't leave my house, and they were just okay, who waiting. Who are you, like a Mormon? <laughs> yeah. You're like from Utah. The Mormon should... has five potential wives. You're from Utah, right? And I got the I got the Brigham Young beard, actually. Did you say Brigham Young? Brigham Young or Brigham? What? Actually, that is that is a saying in Utah. Brigham, Brigham Young. Young? Brigham yeah, Young. and Brigham often. Brigham. I'm sorry if there's any any Mormons of the audience, but uh, so so Jake. You've been in here, you've been in Japan for five weeks, almost six, and I've decided that I wanted to prepare some questions for you, some true-false questions for you about Japan to see how much you know Japan. (laughs) Okay. Actually, not very well, but try me, try me. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, the first question is, watermelons shaped like boxes are sold in Japan and cost about $200 American. 